Want to set up valid field trials quickly? You can do it in the One Soil Yield web app. The first step is to detect the fields suitable for experiments. The platform will do this automatically once you add the fields. On top of that, we prepare a field report that contains information about field productivity zones, soil brightness and relief, limiting factors, and recommendations to increase yield. The report can be downloaded and printed later. To get your field data, we process six years' worth of satellite images, starting with data from 2016. The second step is to create a VRA map for seeding, fertilization, or plant protection product application. You can create a new map and view and edit ones you've previously created. After that, input crops and rates for each productivity zone. The platform can build three, five, or seven productivity zones. The choice is yours. After you've entered all the information, you can either download the VRA map or move to the third step, building control strips. Control strips are necessary to interpret the results of the trial, how planting, fertilization, or plant protection product application affects yield. And yes, the app builds control strips automatically, according to your needs. Just select a number of control strips, their width, and direction. Prescription maps from the OneSoil Yield app are compatible with all popular onboard computer brands. When harvest data is collected, we can analyze how different rates affected yield in different productivity zones. For the platform to perform the analysis, upload a file with a yield map. Match the attributes and select units. When processing is finished, you'll see the yield report. Let's look at an example. First, we need to compare the yield map and the productivity zones built by one soil yield. As we can see, our productivity zones and yield distribution look similar. Now let's compare the yield map with the prescription map. The average yield without VRA would have been 5.44 tons per hectare. With VRA technology, we managed to boost it to 5.86 tons per hectare. That's a great result. Now let's look at the graphs. The low productivity zone shows the highest yield was achieved with a seeding rate of 62,000 seeds per hectare, while a higher seeding rate resulted in lower yield. We can conclude that the low rate worked best and that planting more in this area wouldn't make sense because we'd actually lose yield. In the high productivity zone, we see the opposite. By increasing the seeding rate, we intended to achieve higher yield. In this case, the extra planting costs were worth it. With all this information in hand, you'll be able to determine the best rates for each zone for the next season. Data from trials will be stored in the platform forever for each individual field. After you select a field from the list, you'll be able to recall what was planted or fertilized from season to season, and how, as well as what the results were. This information can be used to create reports or to brag to your colleagues. We hope you enjoy the app. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via the email address on the screen.